Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's unit six time. Um, we are going to be doing rhetorical appeals of advertisements this week, as well as a knowledge check. So no formal writing assignment this week. Um, I know that's disappointing and sad for everybody, but uh, you are going to be turning in your argument essay next week. So this is a good time to not only work on it, but especially if you have any um, questions, this is a great time to get some extra help for it. My main goal during this particular session is I want to show you where to find good um, things to use for your uh, discussion board this week because it's a fun one. In the readings and resources, you're going to be looking at um, rhetorical appeals, specifically how arguments use logic, ethics, and emotion, or logos, ethos, and pathos to persuade you to do what they want you to do, vote for who you want, they want you to vote for, um, buy the product they want you to buy, whatever the case may be. So we're going to take a look at the course as usual and um, remind you that you uh, it's time for, to, for registration. So when you click on unit six, you'll see that first. Um, but unit six, of course, is all about crafting arguments which you're going to put into use next week in a big way. But you're also going to be looking at these things in depth in the discussion board this week. As usual, I will remind you that you want to go through all of the readings and resources before you do the discussion board on Wednesday and respond to others. And then, of course, finish the week with the um, test or the knowledge check. With the knowledge check, of course, you have the ability to take it more than once. Um, with the discussion board, like I said, you just want to make sure that you're ready for it. So you've got some readings on writing an argument. This second one, structure of an argument essay, is going to be helpful in getting your argument set up for next week. Writing transitions is one of those interactives that you uh, go through the different modules within it, the different units within it and learn about transitional words. This is very helpful um, because we all have a tendency as people um, to get kind of stuck with the same transitions over and over again. So this will be helpful for sprucing up your writing and making it more interesting. You have additional readings, two readings on rhetoric and argument, and then three videos, two from YouTube and one directly from post. Make sure that you go through all of these before tackling the assignment. The unit six discussion board assignment is about advertising. So the main thing is that you need to start with an actual ad. Now that can be a print ad or something that doesn't move, or it can be a video like a TV commercial. It could even be a radio commercial or an advertisement that you hear on a podcast or something like that. The only problem with that is sometimes they're hard to find in reprint. It's a bad word for it, but um, the good news is that print advertisements and commercials, TV commercials, are widely available online. So I wanted to show you some ways to find some of these um, for use in this uh, particular assignment. So I'm gonna open uh, Google and I'm gonna put in um, famous print advertisements or just ads is fine. The nice thing about these websites that get pulled up is that they all have multiples in them. Um, so this one, for example, uh, it's, it's from Board Panda, which is one of my favorite websites, but it also has um, 33 powerful and creative print ads that'll make you look twice. Um, this first one has the top 10 best print ads of all time. There's a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. I'm going to pick this one just because it's only got 10 on it. So each one of these is going to be um, a possible topic for your paper. So you do, or for your 
it's not really a paper for your discussion board. You do not want to cover all of the ads in this article. You want to just pick one. Um, and of course, when you send us a link to it, you can send us the link to the whole ad to this whole article. Just make sure you then tell us which one you picked. So for example, let's say I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open my discussion board, create my thread. Um, and I'm going to put Van Gogh. I'm going to use that first one. Um, and I'm going to put the ad here. And then I'm going to specify I am using the first one uh, with Vincent Van Gogh in it. So that people know which one to look at. And then, then I'm going to write my brilliant couple of paragraphs of analyzing the um, rhetorical strategies. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. You do need to provide us with that that link. Um, if you find one just by itself, you can certainly do that as well. Um, but these are great kinds of um, collections because it's going to make it easier to find um, find good ads to look at. The other thing that you're probably going to want to do, many of you are going to want to focus on um, TV commercials or visual commercials. So the same thing applies. I would go straight to, um, I would go straight to YouTube for this commercial. I can't spell today. Okay. So famous commercials, you're going to find a couple of different possibilities. You're going to find compilations, just like those articles that we just saw with the print ads. Here's 10 popular commercials funniest commercials of all time, et cetera, et cetera. You may also want to look for a specific ad that you have seen, or you want to find the ad just all by itself. Either way is fine. This is a specific ad. We know that because it's one minute long. Anything that's 30 seconds or one minute is going to be just a particular advertisement. Anything longer than that is going to have multiples within it which is fine. You can do it either way, as long as you can focus in on one specific ad. Um, Mayhem, he's one of my favorite recent commercials, and this is a 31 second ad. So let's just open this one. When we share from YouTube, of course, all we have to do is copy this, and then we're going to do the exact same thing, create our thread. Um, I love Mayhem, let's call it something cute. And we put the ad there. It's actually going to put it in for us. And then we would write our paragraph below, right? So again, you want a specific advertisement. That's the most important thing um, with this particular week. And other than that, that is all that's going on this week. Um, other than your, your uh, you're going to take a knowledge check, of course. If you have any questions or you want to get some additional help ahead of time for the argument paper next week, um, feel free to reach out. I will be giving you feedback on your introductions um, over the next couple of days, and uh, you might have questions after that. So make sure you reach out. All right. Everybody have a great week and uh, don't forget to register for classes. Have a good Monday. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Etc. Etc. We'll make it happen. Everybody, take care.